Would you like to see Devil May Cry 5 on Nintendo Switch? I think I would like to see it. I've never actually played the Devil May Cry series, but you know what? If Devil May Cry 5 was on Switch, I might just pick it up. But if I want it to be on Switch, I have to buy Dragon's Dogma. Now, I was planning to buy Dragon's Dogma anyways, but <laughs> the director of Devil May Cry 5 has essentially said, actually, not essentially, literally stated that if you want Devil May Cry 5 on Switch, you need to buy Dragon's Dogma. Let's get in to uh, his exact quotes here, uh, as translated by Nintendo Life. So as you see here, Nintendo Life notes that Devil May Cry 5 director uh, Hideki Itsuna and producer Matt Walker did tease how they would like to see Devil May Cry 5 on the Nintendo Switch uh, about a month back, but that wasn't really confirmation it was coming. Uh, now they did an interview with German magazine M uh, with the exclamation point, Itsuno said the latest game in Devil May Cry series would be considered for the Switch if Capcom's April release, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, sells well on the platform. Here's the translation. If Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen sells well on Switch, then we might, not even a for sure, we might consider porting Devil May Cry 5. And then why Devil May Cry 5 wasn't coming to the system in the first place? It's because they started development of Devil May Cry 5. While well, they did not have dev kits for the Switch. Because of that, we concentrated on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Now look, that second statement makes a lot of sense. Um, that, you know, that's why a lot of third-party games, you know, might not be on Switch at this point. Because they were developing it before Switch was even a thing they could develop for. But, setting that aside. Really? Are, are, are you serious, Capcom? Are you serious, Hideki Itsuna? Are you Serious. How many times is Capcom, someone from Capcom, going to tell us, if you want this game on Switch, go buy the other one? And it's not even a, oh, if you buy it, we will do this. It's no, we might do this. What's the might? Well, Dragon's Dogma is probably going to have to sell a million, two million, three million copies. Then they would consider Dragon uh, Devil May Cry. Then they would consider Devil May Cry 5 for the Switch. I am kind of sick of this. Um, it's one thing for uh, companies to basically ask fans to port big, like, hey, if enough people chime up if they want this thing, maybe we'll do it. I don't like that attitude either, but at least that is just related to that game, right? When you're telling people that, hey, look, if you want, <laughs> if you want this game, you have to go buy a completely different game in a completely different genre that has nothing to do with Devil May Cry, that's ridiculous to me absolutely ridiculous that that's even a thought process that cost that crosses people's minds but we've heard this over and over and over again with some third-party companies capcom especially when it comes to switch of we will give you the games you want if you buy the games you might not want I, it doesn't make sense to me like i could understand at least on a surface level if they're like hey look we won't bring resident evil 7 to switch unless this re4 thing and you know it, the Resident Evil, you know, Zero and like, you know, Resident Evil Revelations, those games need to sell well and then we'll bring over the more recent Resident Evil games like the Resident Evil 2 Remake or Resident Evil 7. I could at least understand some sort of messed up logic in there where at least they're talking about games within the same series. So obviously they want to see that people are interested in that series to bring over the newer games. I could understand that to a point. But to tell people that if you buy Dragon's Dogma, we might bring Devil May Cry 5 over is complete and utter bullshit. And I, that probably just got this video demonetized, and I don't even care. That's how frustrated I am at a remark like this. And this is about a game series that I've never really participated in. I've never really played Devil May Cry 5. And I still think this is absolutely ridiculous that a developer, that a director, that a company like Capcom would even promote the idea that to bring a game to a platform, you need to buy a completely different game. Mmm. And I think at, like... A sub-level, we sort of knew this, like, 
underneath it all, it would kind of went unsaid and unwritten with games like from EA, where FIFA, if FIFA did well, if uh, Faye did well, maybe we could get more games from EA in the future. I think that was a thought process many of us had. I know I had that thought process, but at least EA never publicly came out and stated, hey, if FIFA sells well, we'll give you Madden. Like, they never publicly said that. That's just been a natural assumption by consumers. It's almost better to let that assumption exist, rather than be like, oh, hey, by the way, like, you want this on Switch. Well, here you go. Oh, and the reason it's not on switch is because hey we didn't have dev kits at the time well you have dev kits now don't you you could just be like some other third parties and just give us the game later but no the don't i, I even hate them bringing up the dev kit excuse because if it was just a dev kit reason we would be getting devil may cry 5 on switch if the only reason that it's not on Switch is because they didn't have dev kits when they started development. They have the kits now and they can give us a late release. Bottom line is, they just don't want to bring it to Switch. They only will bring it to Switch if they know it's going to sell a million copies, right? They want to know it's going to be a big seller. And they can't know that without the game being there. So they're going to say, hey, look, if you buy this other hardcore game, an older game, by the way, you know, we're talking about an older game being ported to Switch, that that's going to be the barometer a game in a completely different genre, that that's going to be the barometer for a Devil May Cry 5 game. Uh, for a Devil May Cry game, period, even the older games. Like, fine, bring us an old, older Devil May Cry game if you want to use that as a barometer. Don't, like, talk about Dragon's Dogma? What's Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen have to do with Devil May Cry 5 besides it comes from the same company? You might as well sell, hey, let's wait for Monster Hunter to come out on the platform and see if that sells. Oh, you're not going to say that because you know Monster Hunter is going to sell. The reality is, you're gonna you're just given an excuse for Devil May Cry 5 to not be on Switch. All you had to say was that, hey, we never really built this for Switch and we have no plans to bring it to Switch. And you could have left it at that. No, no, no. You had to mention the impossibility of an old school port of an overlooked RPG selling well on Switch to get Devil May Cry 5. And you know what happens? Even if it sold well, I guarantee we still wouldn't get Devil May Cry 5. Because we're not going to know what selling well means to Capcom. So... And the thing is, Dragon's Dogma is probably not going to be a big seller anyways. It was never a big seller, and it's definitely not going to suddenly become a big seller just because it's on Switch. It'll do well. Maybe it'll sell a couple hundred thousand copies. I don't know. I know I'm going to pick it up. I've heard that it's actually a really good game that just went overlooked. But I, it, it's, it's mind-blowing to me that this is the reality that we live in. And especially on a platform, I mean, we're not talking about, like, you know, this is launch year of the Switch and no one knows what's going to happen. We have seen success story after success story after success story. We have seen Square Enix, like, across the street from Capcom, have success on Switch with games. We have seen, <laughs> we, we've seen, obviously, Nintendo, you set them aside, but we've seen other companies, we've seen Bethesda have success. Like, Capcom has had success, the Mega Man games have been selling. Like, I, I don't understand this mentality. It's fine to me if they don't want to bring Devil May Cry 5 to Switch. It's okay. I think at this point as Switch owners, we understand we're just not going to get everything, even if we want it. But to use that as an excuse, to be like, look, we didn't have the dev kits. We have them now. Don't address that point. But we didn't have the dev kits. And then on top of that, oh, we might do it. If you go buy this completely separate game, I... I'm sorry. I'm just really upset about this. But as always, that's my opinion on this topic. I obviously want to hear what you guys have to say. Maybe you're not as upset as me. Maybe you think that, hey, look, at least there's a chance the game could come over. I, I, I don't think this is actually a chance. I think this is just a veiled marketing attempt for Dragon's Dogma. And there's no intent or purpose or reason that they're going to bring Devil May Cry 5 to Switch. I don't think that's a chance in hell of it happening. But uh, you know what? These are the words of the developers, so who am I to question them, I guess, besides the fact that Capcom's already said this about other games, and then some of those games did sell well, and then we still didn't get the games. So, <sighs> Please, I I'm just putting the plea out there to game directors, developers, PR companies, world over at these third-party companies. Stop trying to promote your other games on Switch as a reason to potentially get a completely separate game that has nothing to do with the game you're talking about. It is a poor marketing strategy, and it shows a lack of faith both in the consumer base on the platform you're on and a lack of faith in the game you are putting out on its own. What you are telling me, what, what I am getting out of this whole thing is, one, Dragon's Dogma is not good enough to sell well on its own without the incentive of Devil May Cry 5. And what you're also telling me is that Devil May Cry 5 on its own isn't good enough to sell 
on Switch. Why? Because you need to see that there's interest first by talking about a completely different game that has nothing to do with Devil May Cry. You want to know if there's interest? You could just do the bare minimum and say, hey, look, like, you know, fans outcry. Here's a here's a feedback website. Let's see how many um, intend to purchase, you know, commitments we can get or something or a Kickstarter or something where people can literally pre-buy the game. And if they get to a certain amount of sales, then we will release it on Switch. If we don't hit those sales, we'll just re refund everyone's money, right? Like that to me seems like a go-to thing, right? Like to me, that's a, that's a solid plan. Now you're like... I actually want companies to do this. If you want to know if the game will sell well on the Switch, you know what? How about you put up a Kickstarter and you say, or, or whatever. You don't have to use Kickstarter. You can use some other website. But you, you put up a, a crowdfunding page and you, you note in there you are not crowdfunding the game. You are using this as a pre-purchase platform. And I, I think Kickstarter actually frowns upon that. But there are other platforms that will let you as a pre-purchase platform. And then if we hit a certain threshold, we will release the game. If we don't, then we don't. At least then, at least then us fans can know, okay, how much does it need to sell to realistically come out on Switch? Then there's a bar set. Instead, you're telling people, no, the bar is a completely different game that's not going to sell as well because it's not as, as, as well-known of a franchise as Devil May Cry. And that Devil May Cry 5 wouldn't have an audience on Switch. That's all you're saying. You're, you're literally saying we're not bringing it to Switch because we don't think people would buy it without any evidence to prove that people wouldn't buy the game. I'm sorry, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Be sure to enter, here's a little bit lighter note, be sure to enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate uh, Bundle Giveaway through the link down in the description. I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in. Subscribe for more content. I want you to drop a like on this. Let's see if we can get this video to, you know, let's just go low ball. Let's go 100 likes today. Can we get this video to 100 likes? Let's find out. Thank you for tuning in, and I will catch all of you guys in the next video.